Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I made all of these absolutely beautiful cuticle oils. And this is a very, very highly requested video. So yeah, if you would like to see how I made all of these cuticle oils and how I put them all together, then please keep watching. So let's get into the video. Hey everybody, I'm back with another video and as you saw from the title, I finally have my most requested video here for you guys. So I'm so, so excited because today I'm going to be doing my how to make your own handmade cuticle oils video. So I'm so excited to finally have this video for you guys and I really think it's going to be fun. So let's get started. So the first thing that I wanted to talk about, and it's like the most important thing, I think, is your little containers for your oils. So there is so many different types of containers that you can get. Um, you can literally get them on um, websites, on Safari. You can get them on Amazon, which is usually where I get them. You can get them on eBay. But I'm going to be linking all of the ones I'm using in this video um, down below in the description for you guys. There are so many different kinds. These ones are really cute too. These were a little bit, a little bit more expensive. These are really, really affordable. These are the ones I absolutely love. Um, so I have like a lot of these. I don't have that many just because they are... Um, I am running out of them then there's also this kind which is super super cute it's like the dropper bottle i really like the dropper bottle and the roller bottle but in my personal opinion i do like roller bottles just because they're super super convenient and you can literally roll it on your cuticles but of course the dropper bottle is super cute as well and you can definitely use that um there's also these mini ones which are the ones i've been using lately um they're like about the same size as this I don't know if that's like a good size comparison. This is it in my hand and this is the roller bottle. So I love the roller bottle because of the size, but um, yeah, so basically I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make them, how to make your own cuticle oils. And usually when you order cuticle oils, they do come in their own package with this right here. And this is basically so that you can put the oil inside of there and stuff. I'm going to start off by making this one on camera with you guys. You can make it for yourself or for your clients or to sell if you would like as well. Hey guys, I really wanted to come in really quick and do a voiceover on this part and let you guys know of a really cool tip for all my um, nail technicians out there. If you guys have like a big enough desk to put your cuticle oils on to display them, your clients will see them and they will love them and I guarantee you they're going to want to buy one. So um, what you guys can also do since you guys are making them yourselves is give them like a little thing like if they buy one the next time that they come in, um, if it's empty you'll like refill it for them for like either a dollar or like free of charge um you can do like little things like that but i highly recommend getting like a little lazy susan or like a little thing like a little container or organizer that you can put on your desk and put your cuticle oils on there and all all different like um pre-made scents and stuff and then they can ask you like oh my gosh this is so pretty um what scent is this and you can make them like all lavender and you can be like oh they're all lavender scented and since that's like a really popular scent most likely um some of your clients are really gonna like them and they're gonna want to buy one um and it's a really good way for them to support you a little bit more and for you to um you know get a little bit of extra money just from selling your little cuticle oils because they're really really pretty and they're really good quality so i know um you know that your clients are gonna love them because my clients always do so yeah, I just really wanted to say that for you guys just to give you guys a little bit of inspiration or an idea on how to sell them. And I also recommend using your Instagram to sell them as well. Um, the next thing that you're going to need is little decorations like this if you want because you don't need to have these. These aren't like, like um, mandatory, but they are definitely super cute. I have a bunch of different ones. And then the next thing you're going to need after that is more little decorations you can get them on amazon i'm gonna link a bunch of different ones i have gold foil right here i'll link gold foil sheets on amazon as well so that you guys can see and you guys can order some um i also have like little playboy bunnies they have silver ones down here on the bottom you can also add a glitter into these basically anything you want and then the next most important thing is the type of oil that you're going to be using so the type of oil that i like to use is jojoba oil i think i'm saying it correctly um go ahead and correct me if i'm wrong but i like using jojoba oil vitamin e oil and sweet almond oil so oh also coconut oil so um 
I like using all of those. You can literally use whatever kind of skin safe oil that you like. You can, you are not limited. You can really do whatever you want. The reason why I don't prefer to use so much, um, of some certain kind of oil is because some oils if you haven't noticed have like a little coloring to them so they're like kind of yellow that's natural especially if you buy the organic ones which is the ones which are the ones i use as well but um i do like the clear ones because then you can really see the little designs inside of the bottle and stuff like that and the little things that you're going to put inside here so i do prefer to use clear oil i'm going to show you guys the oil that i'm going to be using today I'm like so excited to have this video up for you guys because I feel like this video is like so requested and so many people have been asking me for it and I've been like so lagging it but I just wanted to make sure I had all the stuff and I had everything ready to film for you guys. So the type of oil that you're going to be needing today is um, like I said basically whatever oil you want to use but I'm going to show you guys the ones that I like to use. I'm going to be using this kind of coconut oil. This is clear so it's going to work really well with your stuff that you're going to be putting inside of the little um, thing like the little decorations. If you don't want to put decorations that's totally fine but it's so cute and it really attracts people's attention when you do have little things inside of there and especially if you like let people customize it however they want that's super cute too. Um, you could also buy like pre-made oil that they have at um, like beauty supply stores and stuff. There's a bunch of different kind that you can use. Usually they have like scented ones. You can use those. It's just um, all up to you but I will really like making mine kind of like more um, natural i really don't want it to be with like all kinds of different ingredients and stuff so i do use the coconut oil and then i use this vitamin e oil this i'm only i'm only going to use a few drops of this this is vitamin e organic rosehip and jojoba oil all mixed together but the vitamin e oil is like the best thing which is why i only use a little bit because um this one is more expensive and you don't need so much of it and it's yellow so i don't like the i don't want it to have like a really yellow hue because i prefer when the oil is like clear and then um, the last one that I'm going to be using is clear organic jojoba oil. So um, that's the one that I absolutely love to use because, again, it doesn't have the yellow tint. I do have I do purchase like the big gallon of it. I'm going to link it down below, but I have it in a little container for now just because it spilled on me. So I had to transfer it. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to be using today. But i'm gonna like i said i'm gonna link everything down below so that you guys can see and you guys can buy whatever you like and i'm gonna link a bunch of different um types of oils that you can use too but i feel like you guys would probably like to use clear better because i don't know you're gonna see it in this video and you're probably gonna like the way it looks so first thing first things first i'm gonna go ahead and grab my little bottle i'm gonna be using these and the mini i'm gonna be filling them all up today just so that you guys can see what they look like i'm gonna start with this big one or maybe i'll start with this one actually so when you buy these they do come with like the little tops on them you can literally just pop this off it's not that hard but you do need some force to take it off so then it's going to be like this um what i like to do is um grab like a little thing with alcohol and clean the whole rim and around it and then the little part right here just to kind of clean it off and then at the end you're going to do that as well so this is what it looks like on its own and you're basically just going to fill this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the clear jojoba oil and this little thing. And basically every time you order cuticle oil containers, they come with this little syringe, which is perfect because this is what you're going to need. So I'm going to grab this one, which is the clear jojoba oil. I think I'm saying it right. And then I'm going to grab this one, the coconut oil. I'm also going to link all of them, of course, down below. And I'm going to be putting some of that one in there as well. I literally don't measure it any specific way because they are just oils like they're gonna mix together and it, I never get like a weird um, coloring or anything like that so I'm basically gonna fill it up almost halfway and this is what it's gonna look like after that that's what it's gonna look like then I'm gonna grab my vitamin E and this is really good for nourishing the cuticles and stuff like that that's why it's so important but let me show you guys it has this yellow tint which is what i don't like on cuticle oil because i don't, I don't know why i just don't like when it looks like yellow like that but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put a little bit in i just don't want it to have too much of that yellow color but i do want it to have like the benefits of it if that if you know what i mean but as you can see that already changed the color a little bit like it's not as clear anymore which is totally fine 
So now we get to choose what decorations and scents. So scents is like the funnest part about this as well because you get to choose whatever scent you like to you would like to use. And that's literally like so cool. So I'm gonna show you guys all the scents that I have. I'm gonna put this to the side and show you guys the ones that I use. I use essential oils and they are so amazing. I always make sure that they're skin safe as well. Um, I think all essential oils are skin safe, but I always make sure to look into it and make sure they're skin safe first before I um, like use them and stuff. So I'm gonna show you guys. So basically my favorite ones to use are like the most popular ones. So this one is like, um, this is an essential oil. It's a lavender one. It's premium quality. It's super, super nice. This is a huge bottle because this is the scent that people ask me for the most. Like people love lavender. So I always, um, I, have, I make sure to have the big one of this, but you can also get a bunch of different scents. This one's a rose one. I'm gonna show you guys the little pack that I bought actually. I did take two of the scents out already, but it comes with so many of them. So this one's cucumber, this one's lavender. It comes with the mini lavender for you to start. You don't have to buy that big one. It comes with lotus, gardenia, green tea. This one smells amazing. This is like one of my favorites. It doesn't smell like green tea. I don't know how to explain it. It just smells amazing. Like, trust me, when you guys get this, you're gonna like the scents. Uh, jasmine, lilac, Peony and again the rose also came in here and then this one the ocean breeze one I think was also in there did I miss that one green tea lavender rose cucumber okay yeah the ocean breeze is the one that it's missing so this one smells amazing too this is like one of my favorite ones so I like this one and I also like green tea, which is my favorite. And honestly, they all smell good, but I'm not really picky with scents. Um, I just don't like things that are too like really strong smelling, but they all smell amazing. So um, I like the rose one too. And I like the cucumber, the cucumber smells so good. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna link this whole little set down below. I think the whole entire set is only like 16 bucks and you get all of these little scents to choose from, which is amazing. And it's like, super cool if you wanted to start selling them or anything you can like choose the scents and like yeah so basically i love them and that's what i'm going to be using today i think today i'm going to use ocean breeze i'm going to do rose and probably i'm going to just take those two out maybe green tea and then the next ones i wanted to show you guys are these super cool scents right here i'm gonna link this kit down below as well these all come in a set there's bali mango passion fruit guava juniper breeze this one is love spell which yes it smells like love spell from victoria's secret which is why i absolutely love it twilight woods this one smells so good they all smell so good this kit is amazing this one is guava colada and I'm like in love with these. These ones I just got. I haven't even used them yet. So I'm probably actually going to use these today, not the other ones. Um, but I love all of them. These are the ones that I've been using and they work really, really well. And every time I've um, like anyone has purchased cuticle oils for me or gotten like a free mini cuticle oil or anything, they always tell me how amazing they smell. Like I get so many compliments and they're like, oh my gosh, I can smell it through the package. And it's so amazing. Like the smells are so amazing. So yeah i've also gotten lots of compliments on this scent as well so yeah these are all amazing and then i'm gonna link another kit down down below for you guys this one comes with a few different ones this is honeysuckle lilac cucumber melon um coconut and gardenia and it also comes with um strawberry so all of these these are amazing as well this one smells exactly like a pina colada exactly it smells so good this one, the mango one, literally smells exactly like a mango, like, lollipop. Like, have you guys ever had, like, those mango lollipops that have, like, chili on them? This smells like a mango lollipop. It smells so good. Anyway, I'm going on a rant about how amazing these smell, but they really do smell amazing. Like, they're not even open, and I can smell them through the bottles, and they're so good. So, now I'm going to choose my scent. So, I think this is the one we were just filling up right now. I think I want to go with... I think I'm gonna keep this one for myself. So I think I'm gonna use maybe a love spell. And you can also mix scents. Like if you wanna mix the scent and go crazy, like do it. So I'm gonna be doing this. For the roller bottles, if you purchase the roller bottles, I usually like to do four, 
four um, drops of fragrance or like essential oils. So I'm gonna drop in one, two, three, four. This one, these do have like a color too, so keep that in mind. But you're not gonna be able to see the fragrance that much once everything is mixed in. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put in my little decorations or whatever I want inside of them. For sure, I think I wanna do some gold foil in mine just because I love the way gold foil looks. So I'm gonna do some of this. You're gonna need some little tweezers. You can get these with almost any nail art kit on Amazon, but these are the little tweezers I like to use. These are four nails, so that's what I that's where I got it from. I'm gonna literally pop in some pieces of gold foil in there. So I think that's all the gold foil that I'm going to use for now. I think that's good enough. And I'm going to just clean these off. And I think I kind of want to use maybe some... Um, I have like so much stuff. I'm going to pull out some more things to show you guys. You could also put female slices in there. I'm not sure if you guys know what these are. But you can also put these in there. You can like decorate it however you would like. I have colored stars, which you can also put in there. I think I'm gonna put a little bit of pink ones in there just because they're so cute. Um, like I said, you can completely customize them. I'll just put a few. Something else that's so fun is putting dried flowers in there. So that's like one of my favorite things to do because it turns out so beautiful. I'm gonna show you guys. So I'm gonna put this long stem of dried flower and I'm gonna link these down below. I got these on AliExpress actually, which is like crazy. But um, yeah, I got them on AliExpress and I'm gonna be putting this dried flower in there. And you can even put like these bigger flowers too. This one has like kind of the same things, but like a little different. You can also get these on Amazon. I'm gonna link AliExpress and Amazon, Amazon ones in case you guys don't wanna wait for them, which I totally understand. And my favorite thing is adding a shimmer. So you can add like shimmer, like a little bit of glitter in there. And it is so stunning when you do that. So I'm gonna grab a tiny bit with my tweezers and I'm just gonna plop it in there. And a little bit of glitter is going to go a long way because it's going to kind of disperse within the cuticle oil. So I'm going to add just a little bit of glitter. And what I do when people um, order cuticle oils for me, I let them completely customize it however they want. So I usually tell them um, like what I have available or what they can choose from and they go ahead and they choose whatever things that they would like to put in there. And then lastly, I think I'm going to be adding some butterflies in mine. You could also add like a chunky glitter like this. Um, it's just up to you and whatever you think you would like to do. You can also add in these kind of dried flowers as well. Or these kind right here. I'll probably add one of these in just for fun. I'm just going to do like some, some baby pink ones right here. I'm going to grab them with my little tweezer. I'm going to be going in with my little tweezer and just dropping them in there. And you can add as many as you like. I don't want to add too much because I think I'm going to add one of these dried flowers as well. These I also got on AliExpress I think a long time ago. Not sure if it'll break apart in there or if it's like sensitive. Or if the flower will like lose its color but hopefully it doesn't. I just added the dried flower in there as you can see and I think that's it. I think that's all I want in mine. Now I'm going to be going ahead and filling it back up with my, you can use either the coconut oil or the jojoba oil. I'm going to be using the jojoba oil and the most important thing as well is when you're filling these up, um, there is a certain point that they can go up to. You want to make sure not to overfill it because you don't want it to completely just, um, like spill out of the container and then if you have this kind you literally grab the little thing and you're gonna just plop it in there so i'm gonna go ahead and stick it in and you have to make sure it goes all the way down to where you hear like the little snap 
so that you make sure that it's not gonna leak anywhere and sometimes the like if you use gold foil it'll get stuck right there but i honestly don't think that's an issue i think it's okay so now i'm gonna be putting the lid back on and always make sure to like wipe them down with alcohol especially if you're gonna be selling them or anything like that going to be doing just jojoba oil on this one and I'm also going to be adding a little bit of vitamin E So in this one, I'm going to be adding, I'm going to be making this one more of like a blue theme. So I think I want to add in the ocean breeze scent just to go with the theme kind of. So I'm going to be adding the ocean breeze. And I did do four drops of that. I want this one to be like a blue theme. So I'm going to add in blue butterflies. Oops. I'm going to add in a little bit of this blue glitter. And a little bit of glitter goes a long way. So when you have this kind of bottle and you're, you have the dropper, you want to make sure you have enough space because when you put this in, the oil is going to rise. So you want to make sure you have enough space so that it doesn't um, over spill or anything like that. I'm going to go ahead and clean it off. I'm going to give it a little bit of a light shake. And this is what it looks like. It's so pretty and it has little butterflies and little pieces of foil floating around in there. This one, um, you just roll it on and it's going to roll out and the cuticle oil just comes out on its own. And it's super, super moisturizing and it's so nice on your skin. So this one, um, the only thing about the dropper bottles is a little bit of glitter is going to come out. That doesn't bug me at all because it's just a tiny, tiny bit as you can see. As you can see right there, it's just a little bit. Um, it doesn't really bug me at all. So I'm still going to use it. And as you can see, I used that bottle and literally no glitter came out. So like a tiny piece right there, but like that's it. So you can still have a really beautiful cuticle oil and they really moisturize. You can literally see the difference already in my cuticles, how moisturized they are and how like sh nice and shiny and healthy they look. So yeah, I absolutely love it. And you just roll it in, rub it all over your nails. This is really good for you, especially if you have really damaged nail beds. This is going to help you really like a lot. And my cuticles are really messed up too. So like, as you can see this one, my cuticles are really, really messed up because I pick at them and like, that's like my problem. So I'm going to put some on here and you're going to see the difference almost immediately on how it looks. You just really work it in and they're so healthy and you can use this oil all over your hands too which is amazing you can like pretty much do whatever you like and look at how my cuticles look i mean they're not like taken care of but they're 
really nice and moisturized now. I am gonna be filling up this tiny mini one as well on camera for you guys, just so you guys can see it. I'm gonna get like this purple little flower. And you can also like cut these down too if you wanted to. So I just cut this one down so that it fits in there. And it's gonna be so beautiful. I'm gonna keep this one really simple. I'm just gonna add a little bit of glitter. And for these mini ones, you do want to leave a little bit of space. Um, I'm going to put this one in so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But it's going to overflow a little bit. So I'm just going to take some out with a little dropper and just dump it on the on here. Especially because I already put those big flowers in there. You don't have to put big flowers in there because they take up a lot of the space. But I just think that they look so pretty and it's like worth it. And I'm going to show you guys the other ones all together one last time. There's this one, the mini one, and then the blue one. And they are just so, so stunning. Um, I really think anybody that you gift these to or whoever you make them for is going to love it because I love them and everyone that I've ever that has ever ordered one has tol told me that they love them. So I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if I missed anything or if you guys have any questions at all. Um, I think I went through pretty much everything and especially just telling you guys what kind of bottles you can use and like the scents and stuff. Um, there are so many different bottles on Amazon as well. I'm gonna just link these three, these three down below so that you guys can see. And I'm also gonna link this one. I just didn't want to use it because um, I don't know, I kind of want to save it. So and I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. This video was so highly requested. Um, but yeah, it's so easy. And I really hope you guys have fun making them. Because I really have a lot of fun. And they're so beautiful. I'm going to show you guys these mini ones that I actually made for Valentine's Day too. Before before you go. I made these mini ones with like female sizes in them. They're so cute. And they're like um, just like clear. And they're so pretty. And you can see how beautiful the oil looks on its own as well. And yeah, I made these for Valentine's Day. So I made like this red one and I made pink ones as well. And this is what the pink ones look like. Again, I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe. So many of you that support me so much and I just wanted to tell you guys how much I appreciate you because you guys literally give me a purpose to make these videos or else I wouldn't be making these videos. And my purpose is to help people that really need help and um, you know, just like watching fun stuff. So yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing day and thank you so much for watching. Bye.